Hey everybody, that right there in the distance is the JR Yamanote Line's newest station under construction. You can see the cranes in the distance. This is sort of a historical thing and I'm, I'm kind of a train nerd. So for me, this is sort of a big deal. Hey, I'm reporting on site right now. That right there is gonna be the 30th station for the Yamanote Line. It's not named yet and I know that it's being built because it was on the news yesterday. JR East, which is this area of, of, of JR, the branch of JR Japan Rail, has opened it up to public uh, submissions to name this station. And right now it is tentatively named the Shinagawa News Station, <laughs> which isn't so good because it's, it's located between Tamachi and Shinagawa Station. Um, and you can see right now there's the Keihin Tohoku line, and then maybe we're going to see the Yamanote lines pass by. But in after 2020, that, Yam that Yamanote line is going to be making stops there. So it's sort of a big deal to right now watch the Yamanote line not stop there <laughs> because it's going to have to stop there. Now the Yamanote line has 30 stops uh, with this one included. Right now there's 29 stops and it's been 29 stops for 47 years. Okay, In my lifetime I have not seen a new station added to the Yamanote line and it will be very shortly we will have a new station added and I'm just going to wait for the Yamanote line to pass by um, and then I have a lot of information to tell you about this station. First of all, I'm in a place called, ah, there it is. No, that's not it. That's, that's the Keihin Tohoku line again. Deceived by JR. Not really. You can tell that it's the Keihin Tohoku line from the, the blue line across it. Across it. The Yamanote line comes every, every three minutes or so, so I, we must have just missed it. This is this station that I'm at. This area is called Sengakuji, and Sengakuji is uh, we're one of the foundations of the uh, wall that surrounded Edo. Like I'm talking hundreds of years ago is, and there's a ruin right right at Sengakuji Station, which is on the Asakusa line. That that subway line is in operation, and the Asakusa Sen, uh, Sengakuji line is going to be just like within walking distance of this new station. Come on, Yamanote line, pull through. You're ruining my episode. <laughs> I can hear it coming though. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Tokyo in, in June, uh, June 5th. Here it comes. You can hear the lines vibrating. Boom! So the JR Yamanote line will be stopping there, but it's in, in a few years, but it's not stopping there now. All right. So I'm going to take you to the site of this new station just to see what it looks like right now because it's under construction and historically this is going to be like a mark in time where we look at what, it, what it's like today. And in order to get there to the other side there's a tunnel. There aren't that many that lead to the other side uh, of, of Shinagawa. This is Minato-ku or Minato Ward. There's just this. And you see that car really went slow. There's the Yamanote line. So we're going to go underneath the Yamanote line. Careful! You got to be careful. There's bicycles flying through here. Wow, this is actually really, actually really um, <laughs> not that hot. Oh my word. This tunnel. That's a serious tunnel. It's really low and it's really dark. I don't know, I think we might lose the signal. So, hey guys, I'm gonna run this, okay? Hey, turn around, turn the camera around. I'm gonna run this because I don't wanna lose the signal for too long. If we lose the signal, stay with me. I'm just gonna get to the other end, okay? Here we go, let's, let's do this. Whoa. We're underneath JR's tracks, and there's a lot of them. This tunnel runs about 150 meters. Okay, I think we're at the end of it. Oh, 
All right. Sorry, I, I know we lost signal in there. It's pretty deep. It's pretty steep. And it's pretty, pretty cool. And they're taking a picture of me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, so we're on the other side. That was an adventure. Sorry about the, the bad connection. We were in, on, in a tunnel underneath the Yamanote line. You can see here the entrance to the construction. This is how the trucks get in as they are making construction on the new station. All right, so there's a lot of construction. As you can see, there's some signs. This white fence is now up here showing you what, what it's gonna look like. There's the Shinkansen line. This is where we are. So there's a new building coming up and it looks beautiful. That's what it looked like in 1995. Looked good then. That's what it looked like in 1980. Wow. And that's what it looked like in 71. And then 62. There was a factory and then 1931, there wasn't much of anything. And that's pretty cool that they've documented the history of this spot right here, based on the construction. And what's it gonna look like in 2020? We're gonna find out. It looked pretty good in the 80s. And then just uh, 20 years ago, it looked like that. And now we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna walk you out to where the entrance of the station is, or at, at least as close as I can possibly get. Now the Yamanote line is actually um, about, I don't know, like, uh, like 75 or 80 meters that way. So it's closer to the road that I was going on, but you just can't see it. There's other buildings in the way right now. Excuse me, see what I said? I got a wave. She waved. Wave back. No, no, don't go without waving. I wouldn't wave at me either. All right, these roads are pretty narrow. Um, it's kind of stressful because you're right up against the fence here. But we're moving, I can now see some of the cranes in the distance. I hope that the signals, it's just a little bit better. And the, these cranes, this construction reminds me a lot of the stadium that's going on. Of course, the stadium is, is, is set to be completed next year, so it's much further on in construction. but. Uh, this is sort of like a way to record history. It's the history of the newest station of Shinjuku. Uh, sorry, the uh, sh uh, Yamanote line in uh, Shinagawa. All right. I really, I really didn't know what to expect uh, going coming on this side, but I know there's a park coming up right here. And uh, I'm going to show you a map of the Yamanote line. Now, the Yamanote line has 1.1 million daily riders. The thing is jam-packed, this line. There's two, only two lines going in different directions, and they pack in 1.1 million riders every day. And uh, if we look at the map of it, I can bring you a picture. There you go. That, I can get the, the, that is the Yamanote line, or a reflection of me. <laughs> there it is. And you can see, it, it looks like a big, like, spike, but we're at the end right there, and this is where the new station is. Do you see where the Shinkansen is? That's Shinagawa, and then we're, we're right there. And this this new station is going to be right on the on the right on the waterfront so I'm, I'm kind of excited about this whenever there's something new in the city I go crazy because that means the city's changing and uh, uh, it's also sad because that also means that the city is changing that means something is is leaving because there's really is no more well right now I'm very close to the seaside and there are islands over there where they have new land but it's settling and they can't quite build on it yet but um, w when something gets built in central Tokyo that means something is leaving 
That means they're ripping something down. And this is also the uh, um, where they're putting together the station. There's a ramp up there. I guess they, they have to get up in order to do that. And you can see here, this is, it literally says JR uh, Higashi Nihon Construction, the office for it. It's very cool. Shout out to Gretchen. I saw that Gretchen. So Gretchen, I hope you're doing better. Your nurse Pamela has been uh, giving me updates. Said that you wanted to eat ice cream, but your nurse said that uh, that would uh, make you like terminally ill. So you had a cherry popsicle instead. <laughs> so uh, don't eat the ice cream, Gretchen. You know what I'm talking about. No cheeseburgers either, by the way. They're strict diet. So Gretchen has been uh, uh, in a coma. <laughs> so I'm good. I'm glad that you're awake then. If you're in a coma before, now you're awake. That's good. Uh, well, welcome, welcome, Gretchen of Arizona, and welcome all of you as I walk now, um, getting a little bit closer to the. Here's some here's some signs here. So this here happens to be a factory. Um, wow. All right. So this is a a, a plate a heating factory and the ex okay so it looks like this is a factory where they generate power well could use some power like a coffee right now all right look up ahead we see some greenery that's a promising sign and I know that the station is right around this area now this station as I said earlier, for those of you who are joining us right now, JR East has opened it up to public submission. So anybody could have that winning submission to name this station. Tentatively named uh, Shinjuku New Station, uh, which is kind of a crappy name, but uh, I I'm sure they're gonna come up with something even better. Now, t Tokyo, the city, had opened up the, the mascot competition so people could pick the mascots that they wanted and we got some we got two pretty cool mascots I picked those mascots too. those the ones that I picked were the winners and you can see that information in the uh, only Japan main channel um, the 2020 Olympics where we are right now episode Shinkansen! oh man that's always awesome It's gonna make a quick stop at Shinagawa. It's slowing down a little bit. It's a long one. It's a Nozomi. JR just lost, uh, launched a new train. A new Nozomi train uh, three days ago. And there was a media event and I was not invited to the media event. I was a little bit upset. Um, very, very, very little. I wasn't actually really upset, but just a little bit upset. Okay, so this looks like a pool area. And there's some dudes smoking up there. So we are by the seaside. It's very cool. Look at this building smoking. They're smoking up there and they're smoking out here it looks like a big cigarette so they're actually getting closer to Shinagawa station this looks like it this looks like the train platform and I can go up the steps I think we can we can take a quick look in this is fun all right I'm gonna go up these steps here because I can't get a better view from down here Boy, there's nobody here. You'd think people would be so excited they would come in and check out the new station. Just me and this bird. He's moving faster than us. Hey, wait up! Oh, he can fly! I forgot. Bird's got wings. Can I attach this camera to you, sir? Oh, we're too high. So I'm guessing the Shinkansen comes through here. Yeah, the Shinkansen comes through here and the station is actually uh, lower. So let me, let me go back 
it's a, it's a nice view looking back at the city. You can see Tokyo, from up here on the platform, you can see Tokyo Tower. It does look pretty nice. Yeah, you know what, Gretchen? Do you see any vending machines around here? I don't even, <laughs> there's not even water. So we're stuck. Okay, I can see it now. It's not, it's not easy to see, but you can see the new station for the Yamanote line uh, passes over there where the cranes are. And uh, it, it's very hard to get to. Here comes the Shinkansen right now. It's really hard to get to that new station. Um, what I can do is try to go a little bit further on and see if I can make, if, if, if it can loop around. I'm in an area where there aren't any, that many people. Shinkansen's going the other way now. So I'm looking at the map, trying to find out on Google Maps where we are. Once again, on the Google Maps, it actually says uh, that this location is the uh, unnamed Shinagawa Station. But I know they're not going to call it that. Alright, I've gone too far, but I don't know, there was no way to get in there. You see, on the top, the blue thing says uh, Shinagawa New Station, and I'm that blue, the blue t line that's turning. So, um, I, don't, I don't know if I can get back there. That means that over yonder, that is the new station. It does look pretty cool. And this is about as close as we can get without special access from JR East. But if I had wings, we could ask our buddy here to fly over there and get some inside views. Excuse me, sir. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Don't be afraid. Tell me a little bit about the station over there. Do you think it's going to be completed on time? And um, what kind of services are we looking at? Do you think they'll have maybe a Lawson's or 7-Eleven? Any good restaurants? What do you think? Undecided? Uh, nothing to see here. Mm, no comment. Sometimes it happens. Not even the birds know. It's a tough area. This is this is a tough town. Uh, I don't know. There's more birds than people. But I think in the year 2024 when this launches and this, what you're looking at right now is the new uh, Yamanote Line Station which is set to open uh, well, they're going to have an opening ceremony in 2020 in the spring before the Olympics. And then they're set to open it in 2024, which is really long way away, isn't it? it? Looks like it could be finished by the Olympics. But apparently there's a hotel, there's services, there's lots of buildings, there's parks, there's skyscrapers, there's other things that they're building in this area. This place that I'm in right now is not going to look like this in a few years. In fact, it's probably not going to look like this next year. But as it is, it, it's a very quiet very few human, mostly pigeon area. And for the record, that's where, this is where we are. So let me go back now. This way is Shinagawa Station and uh, there's really not much except Shinagawa Station. That's what you're looking at in the distance. So I'm gonna go back right now and see if we can if we can one, if we can find a vending machine, and uh, if we can't, then we'll at least get a better idea of what is around this area that they're building in. And it'll give us kind of a blueprint, kind of an idea of the blank sheet that is this area of Tokyo that's going to be um, have a lot of new construction, new buildings on it. This looks like some sort of pool. Uh, you guys who have, uh, well, I'm close to Shinagawa Station, Barry. This is um, the site of the new Yamanote Line Station. And there's 29, and there's actually a song and drinking games. There's drinking games to name all 29 of the Yamanote Line Stations. And now that there's a new station coming, we've totally screwed up that game. All right, it's like throwing another one in there to get everybody off. There's gonna be a lot more drinking these days with the 30th station because 
they're probably starting to play this game now and that station doesn't even have a name. It's a trick question for the drinking games. So you have to name all the stations in a row. And when you get, uh, the, the thing with this game is I can do it pretty good. But the thing is after you get from Wayno, there's all these stations that you don't, don't know because you don't travel to that often in the north, the Stamachi area. Um, there's a couple of them I don't even recall. But I guess from Wayno down, you can go Wayno, uh, Okachimachi, Akihabara, Kanda, Tokyo. Uh, the next one is Yurakucho, Shimbashi, um, Hamamatsucho, uh, Tamachi, and then here, and then Shinagawa. And uh, after Shinagawa, it goes around the curve up towards uh, Ebisu and Ebisu and um, Shibuya, Harajuku. There's o Otsuki in there too, and Gotanda. Yeah, so this is it. I'm now in front of where the station will be. It's not gonna look like this in a few years. I don't know if this is interesting to you, but I'll tell you what, it's really interesting to me. You can see on the top, right in the middle of the screen is Tokyo Tower. And the Yamanote line itself has had a couple of new trains coming in. It's kind of cool, even though you see the, the uh, like lime green stripe on the top of the Yamanote line. Um, the new trains, they're, they're, they're different. They just look cooler. So every couple of years, the Yamanote line comes out with a new train or a new design, and that, make, that keeps it fresh. Because these 1.1 these million daily riders are continuously you know, riding this as commuters. So not all of them, but most of them are. And it's good to have some variety. There are people, but it's just not a crowded area because there's literally nothing here yet. So there's the, there's the ramp that we passed earlier where some of the traffic can go in there. Um, the Yamanote line is actually more accessible on the other side of the tracks, but this is where the seaside is and this is where a lot of the buildings are gonna be taking place. Uh, building is gonna be happening. Uh, once again, there's gonna be a hotel. There's gonna be, I don't know, Tokyo's talking about having a casino here. I don't know if that's a good idea. There's a lot of people who are, are against it. A lot of people are for it because the high rollers, they can't come here. They're going to Singapore, they're going to Macau, they're going to Vegas. Everyone's passing up Tokyo. Uh, so there's a lot of people who are against it and a lot of people for it. And the seaside seems to be a natural place to have a casino because it keeps all the bad people up against the wall of the sea. I guess you could throw them in the sea if they, they don't uh, behave themselves. Up above is the Shinkansen going by. You can hear it rolling. Pachinko is a different kind of gambling. It's sort of unique. But it, in Pachinko in itself is also a problem. And, uh, you know, I, I, I did talk about making an episode for Pachinko. But I, it really is kind of a gambling and it's a controversial issue in Japan. The video would absolutely be demonetized because the topic is too, um, it, it's gambling. But Pachinko likes to consider it as amusement. But if you can make money off of it and you can lose money off of it, it's just, it's just like horse track racing. There's nothing, I don't have any problem against somebody playing Pachinko, but it's one of these games that we don't know a lot about. And after thinking about it and who controls it, I decided to stay away from it, which is a shame because it is a part of Japanese culture. All right, so there's a grate that we can kind of see inside. It's not really that exciting. It's kind of rusty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a right here this time instead of a left. Or I can go through the tunnel of death again. Which one, do you, which one should it be? Should I take a left and go back to the tunnel of death or take a right and go towards the seaside? You guys decide. You have about 15 seconds before this happens. Left or right, everybody? Choose your own adventure, right? The right? Seaside is right, right? Everyone's saying right? Are you right? Is that right? Nosh says left though. Nosh is powerful. Nosh, but they're turning, they're saying right. Everyone says right. I 
I turned right. I, I turned right. Because it's just like, Blue Gypsy Doll always sides with Nosh. But just the general public was like, turn right. You can't go against the wave. I wanted to go up, but I, like I did, you, you, you heard when I talked to the birds, they totally were not gonna give me a ride. So my, my, I can't go down, I just hurt myself. If I go up, you know, I didn't have anybody to take me or anything or any bird. All I could do is go towards the seaside. And uh, this is kind of neat. We're going to have a look look uh, parallel to the park. This is perpendicular from the park going towards the sea just to see what we're going to see what the sea has for us. I thought it was pretty uh, nifty <laughs> with that, but it didn't work out that cool. We're going to see the sea. Is that that funny? It, sound, it sounds funny in my head. All right, we, now we're getting some of the breeze here. Roxas asks, uh, why I didn't bring my girlfriend here? Do you mean like my wife, who's working? No, uh, <laughs> she's working, man. I'm gonna bring her here. This is a tough neighborhood. You saw those pigeons. They weren't playing games. All right, now this is interesting. This is a park. The Minato City Shibara Chuo Park. This is where that guy was smoking up there. So I guess I can go up here into the park or I can keep going towards the seaside. What do you think I should do? Park or seaside? Park or seaside? Here's the taste of the seaside if I go this way. If you say park, you gotta turn around. Let's see the smoking part. Seaside, 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 sea. Jim says seaside, seaside, park, park. Seaside, 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 park please. Park and seaside. That sounds like a really good name for a delicious restaurant. The Park and Seaside Grill. No? Um, let's just, you know what, I have an idea. All right. I like to make everybody happy, it's one of my flaws. It ends up being nobody's happy when you try to do that. But I'm gonna go just a little bit to take a look at the seaside and then on the way back, cause I gotta go back that way, we're gonna ch check out the park real quick. Ah ha ha ha, now I know exactly where we are and I think you do too. Um, straight ahead in the distance is the Fuji Tea building in Odaiba. Do you see that? It's a very uh, well-known structure. So right across, that means that the Rainbow Bridge is that way. That means if we go a little bit further, but it, it seems really complicated to get over there. There's a lot of roads in the way. One, two, three, four, five highways I count between me and the Fuji TV building. So, okay. So this is what this area looks like. I guess there's this, which is something. There's a pink bus. That's something. So we came this far in the name of science. Nothing interesting. Let's go to the smoking park. Jim said seaside. We did pretty good. I didn't see this park. Check it out. If you if you look between uh, the track, but between the um, the metal, you see a little park in the distance. Wow, that's loud. See a bunch of kids could play there, but it's so it's so creepy around here. There's no kids playing. All right, I'm gonna go to the seaside park. Check it out. Train line! Sound like a cargo train. That cargo train's going towards the seaside. That's not, that was not a, a, um, a normal train. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to this park here. Once again, this is the um, Minato City Shibaura Chuo Park. And just to give you a, a quick look around, I don't think any YouTuber has ever brought you this park. What a shame. Uh, well, we got we got a, a nice animated um, picture. Oh, that's where the that's where the smoking man was. Totally. And look, you can see the Shinkansen from this park. This is pretty sweet. So this is one of a, uh, this is a good train spotting area. 
and there's a, a place for, for running for kids. You can get in trouble. You can just uh, like do little um, uh, King Kong type stuff on top of a structure over there. There's a hanging garden. I'm not sure what she's doing. I guess it's a slide with spikes on it. So this is little Ta Takahiro. He's uh, having fun on the jungle gym made of bamboo. And there's Suzuki-san playing tennis by the by the seaside. It's a pretty neat park. But let, let's, oh, Grandma. There's Obachan playing gate ball, which is the, gate ball is the uh, sport of choice for seniors here. I'm not sure what this is. That doesn't look that much fun. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to investigate this because I'm not satisfied with just looking at a map. But we do have here, the operating hours of this park is 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then they lock the gate and you're, you're stuck in here forever. Or until 6 a.m. the next morning, if they can find you. Basically, this ramp looks like um, the loading dock for some warehouse. So it's a pretty weird park. But that in the distance is Shinagawa, Shinagawa Station. And nice fresh seaside air here. Because Shinagawa is, is right on the seaside. Nice seaside mixed up with some sewage smell. Now I know. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. Like chemical sewage. grass seems to be happy with it but that in the distance um, I get you know what we got a really good shot of the new station I'm glad I came up here so whoever said park you know give your give yourself a give yourself a hand there's a there's a new uh, JR Yamanote station in the distance give yourself a hand smell of vision just be glad you're on the other side of this because it's it does not smell like a, any park I've ever been in Woo! Woo! it's the kind of park where you grit your teeth John Wayne would like this park it's a man's park yeah uh, sewage park so once again it tells you the time the kids the kids they do seem to be playing here but there really aren't a lot of people gotta leave your bikes your horses at the stable here pretty nice green area I can't complain this looks uh, like a place I could take off my shoes and really relax. Oh, no way! No, you got to, I just saw it. All right. Look, this kid's having fun, fun through the tunnel. Did you see that? I don't know. Can adults do this? Do you have to wear a helmet? That kid's wearing a helmet. No way! Can adults do this? Oh, totally. They got to be able to do this. They can't monitor adults, can they? There's no secret camera. I don't see any, any park police here. Whoa! Is there a weight limit? Do you see what I'm? Do you see what I see? It's like one of these. Um, what do you call them? Like uh, James Bond type swooping. Hang on for dear life as you make your way to the. It doesn't say that you have to be a certain age. So should I give this a try? All right, let's give it a try. Un unless unless some other kid comes. All right, you guys stay here, all right? I'm gonna try this. And if somebody comes, then it'll be over. That was awesome! 
No way. It's like a, a zip line. That's what it's called. What? All right. Let's see if we can do this together then. Because you know what? I think if, if I think Gretchen is out there. She's going, oh, I wish I could go out and do this too. Well, Gretchen, now you can. I'm, that means I'm going to have to do this one-handed though. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, Gretchen. Should, you be, should the camera be facing me or facing you? And you guys can simulate this yourself. All right. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. This is gonna be wrong. All right. Are you ready? All right. Don't, no, hang on, okay? Don't let go, you're gonna fall into the mud or something. All right, ready? Oh! Whoa! Oh, that stunk. I, the camera didn't have it uh, looking at the... Uh, we gotta do that again, that, that's not adequate. Let's try this again. Before the park ranger comes and yells at me. All right, if I, if I pan down, I think, I think it'll be better now if I, if I pan the camera down. All right, Gretchen, here's your ride. You ready? Don't scream. Ready, three, two, one. Whoa! That was awesome. All right, I can't do that again. Kind of hurt. All right, got you. I don't see any monster. That's that's the best I'm gonna do for you. Okay. I got you right on a zip line. Kind of ruined my hands. It's all right. If you want, I can, I'll, I'll, I'll climb the castle for you. Is that something you want? I'm gonna freak out the kids and the parents though. I think that'll be good. Trouble started YouTubers. I don't wanna be, like, I, you know, I'm not, there's, there really isn't any age limit. I'm just saying. Nobody, nobody got angry, no. Nobody got hurt. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe there was an age limit. But I, I, it's not my fault. Hold on a second. Uh, do not ride together. We broke that rule because you guys were riding with me. So we kind of, kind of broke that rule. Never grasp cable. I didn't do that. You see that? Because you know what? Your handle gets smashed by the, uh, the cable, the zip line. Do not push the rider from behind. No, who would do that now? You guys are calling me a troublemaker? I didn't do any of these things, all right? Listen, Nosh, I'm telling you, I didn't do any of those things, so we're good. It does not say that you can't be an adult. And there's the Shinkansen over there, too? That's weird. I thought the Shinkansen was the other way. That's the rainbow bridge in the background, too. So I guess... There's more than one Shinkansen line. Or maybe the Shinkansen line going this way, coming in, goes goes through here. And you can see it making its way. Sorry for the... Through this park. Yeah, that's the Rainbow Bridge. I climbed it over it in another episode. And um, a lot of people who watch this series, I, I try to show you stuff that is is... It's not just off the beaten path. People just don't know about it, except for people who live in that area. Okay, wait, I don't want to walk through any spider webs. Hold on. You guys see anything? Okay, we're good. Those aren't normal spiders. This isn't like a sewage plant. They're probably like Spider-Man spiders. Got some sort of uh, like magic powers. I don't want to mess with those kinds of spiders. I've seen them too. They're yellowish in Japan. Shinigawa is a nice area. So kudos to this park. You know, I'm glad we found it. I'm going to go where the smoking man was, see if we can get a view of, of the new JR station and end this live stream. So we've had a pretty fun afternoon. Got to ride a zip line. Got to go through the tunnel of, tunnel of death. 
got to see a, uh, a smoking building and a smoking man. And uh, you got to, see, I, I got to smell some sewage. <laughs> you got to see some fl some roses. I got to smell some sewage. It doesn't seem quite fair. This place does smell nice. Oh man, this smells so nice. Finally, fresh air. Ah, oh, look at these. These are beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that. These are uh, pink roses. And they have some red ones over there. And there's an orange one right here. And we call these Mabellas. I can tell because it, there's a sign that says Mabella. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. So Gretchen says, don't hurt yourself. I, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I, I, I can smell the roses. Do you smell that? Ah, oh, it smells so, it smells really, really nice. Let me use a different adjective than so good. And there's the different colors. It, this is a nice area. I, I believe that they're trying to make up for the fact that it's in like a, a sewage area. But it does, it does look really beautiful. There's something for everybody. This is where mom would hang out. Whoa! I've never seen a scooter like that before. It's pretty cool. They have, they've listed the flowers on the wall here, so you, you know what, what you're looking at. It's nice. The park does have some rules. Keep your dog on a leash, because you don't want, you want your dog uh, with fangs. Look at that, with fangs. You don't want your dog biting some little girl's arm. <laughs> the dog has the dog has some seriously bad intentions, I think. And then right down here you see a dog owner should clean up after the dogs because we know who the boss is, the dog is. Whoever has to clean up the doo-doo, that's they're this they're the ones who are the second class citizens. So when the aliens come, I think I saw this in a movie, when the aliens come, they're gonna think just assume that the dogs are in charge. Because it's the humans cleaning up the waste behind it, right? <laughs> Two different, that's the same dog. It's the same dog. All right, let's go to where the smoking man was, see if we can get a view of the, of the park. That's pretty cool right here. Vampire dog, <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool right here. These kids are playing b-ball, and it looks like grass or astroturf. Very cool. I don't think they can dunk, and, um, but they look like they could play for the Cavs, the way that they're playing. Caps could use all the help they can get. One well, of these kids could be a future Hall of Famer. All right. So almost at the end of this live stream. So thank you very much, Gretchen, for the super chats. I know you're you're enjoying this from really hot Arizona, and I feel your I feel your pain because it's hot as heck here. You know, Arizona, you. It's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, like 42 degrees Celsius in winter. It doesn't seem right to me. Right. Okay, this is where I saw the smoking man. And this is where we're gonna end the live stream. I'm not gonna take you through the tunnel of death again. Although I might, if we get 250 likes, I might go through the tunnel of death with you. And uh, one more time, because I gotta go back that way anyways. So if we get the 250 likes, gently gently push the like button and I will I'll continue this live stream through the tunnel of death which actually was kind of fun if it was a tunnel of death there should be consequences to certain people All right, this is nice this is another playground that they have here and my my brother's nieces I guess if they come back to Tokyo there's a place for them to play um, don't mind the smell <laughs> but it's still it's still pretty nice Shinagawa has done a pretty good job with this park. Oh man, you guys gotta, you guys are so close to 250. That means I gotta take it through the tunnel of death. This is where the smoking man was. Very, very nice view this way, looking back at Tokyo. Again, Tokyo is such a beautiful city. It's, 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 it's not a big city. 
I mean, in the, in the sense that it's, it's, it's very compact. I bump into people all the time that I know. It's j just the other day, I saw my friend Ruth at Akihabara Station. And uh, a few days ago, uh, my, me and my wife, we, we bumped into a, a fan from Germany. I, it just happens, you know? You, walk, you go out, you meet people. I don't see the new station. I see the, I, I do see the um, cranes for it there. Yeah, Nosh is right. I, I saw Tabby Eats just walking around the street. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Did, I walk by them and they walk by me and then they're like, John? I'm like, Tabby Eat boys? And that was pretty funny. <laughs> they're both together, so that was pretty cool. Alright, check it out. Uh, Gretchen, here you go. This is a little bit of Tokyo for you. There's Tokyo Tower in all her glory. Um, they said that it's international orange, the color, but it might not be anymore. I'm not sure what they call it these days, but when I did the NHK shoot at Tokyo Tower, they said it was international orange, so the airplanes wouldn't hit it. Now they built it, they built Tokyo Tower to be one meter higher than the Eiffel Tower. I think it was like 334 meters high or something. It was one meter higher just so they could say they were bigger than the Eiffel Tower. And then after the 2011 earthquake happened, um, if you look back at the news reports, Tokyo Tower, the antenna was bent, bent like this because of the earthquake. The earthquake made the tower sway so much that it bent the um, antenna. And it ended up taking off a couple of meters on the height. So now the Eiffel Tower is higher uh, sorry, the Tokyo Tower is now higher, uh, sorry, Eiffel Tower is higher than Tokyo Tower now, but um, it doesn't matter because we have Tokyo Skytree, Paris, which is like double the height of Tokyo uh, Eiffel Tower. So Tokyo said, we don't care anymore, we, we beat you with another tower. Yeah. Alright, before I go through the tunnel of death, does anybody have any questions? If you have any questions at all, I will answer them until I go through the tunnel. When is the next main channel video? Uh, probably next week, and it's me and Kevin talking about and trying okonomiyaki at an Osaka place and comparing that with Hiroshima yaki, and I have some new video footage of that as well as um, some clips of the, of the first okonomiyaki video I made in Hiroshima uh, back in 2015, I believe it was. So that, that should come out sometime next week. All right, remember this guys, this is the toxic waste dump. I'm gonna walk a little bit faster. I wish one of these kids could give me a ride on their bikes so we can get through this area faster. Oh man. Ah! <coughs> My mouth was open. Now a test of the smooth Q gimbal. This is only a test. Okay, we're almost there. All right. Oh man. Woo! Thank you, Park. It's been real. Smell you later. Woo! So there you have it. If you are in Tokyo, I highly recommend this park. Um, just, just to end on a high note, <laughs> on, a, on a different note, <clears throat> this, uh, this episode was about the new train station for the Yamanote Line, the, the 30th station. For those joining us right now, Yamanote Line has 29 stations right now. It's 2018. In 2020, they will officially open the 30th station, uh, tentatively named Shinagawa New Station. Uh, 
they haven't had a station opened on the Yamanote line since 1971, which was Nishi Nipori, uh, which is in the north area, north of Ueno. And Nishi Nipori is also, I, I believe it's one of the lines that goes uh, uh, through the Narita Express, I believe. So uh, it's been in my lifetime, the first station that's opened on the Yamanote line. So 47 years it took so far. And this station is going to be uh, named on June 30th. So we don't know what the station is going to be called yet, but tentatively it's a, Sh a new Shinagawa station or the Shinagawa news station. I don't know what they're going to call it, Seaside Station maybe. So what do you think this park is going to be named? In the comments below, let me know your thoughts, what they should call it. Godzilla Station, <laughs> a Pokemon Station. Sushi station. Just let me know your thoughts. I'm here to listen to you. I believe you. I believe in you. All right. And I hope you believe in me too because we're going now back the way I came. This, where those two guys are going, or the four guys are going, is the tunnel of death. And whatever lurks underneath there will get them first. So hopefully they're not hungry anymore after they've chomped on these four delicious morsels that have gone in. You, right now you can only see the bottom of them, you see? It's really, really, um, it's really, really narrow. All right, I, I, I know we're gonna lose the signal, so I'll see you on the other side, okay? I'll, I'll try to keep it on as, as long as I can, but I'll see you on the other side. We're underneath the Yamanote line. Tunnel of death completed. <laughs> you seem to go a little bit faster when your life is at on the on the line. So we're back now where I started this live stream 53 minutes ago. And I said to you, welcome to the 30th station of the Yamanote line can affectionately named Shinjuku New Station and I'm standing up there and you can see it in the distance I'm not tired at all this is the way we roll tired has no bearing on these live streams it's just essentially a snapshot of history how I feel is no it has no difference but it's the surrounding area that's really important and how will this change in the next three to four to five years? What will this look like? Will skyscrapers be towering over this area? We will no longer see blue skies from this point that I stand right now? Or will there be more blue sky as they get rid of some of this construction site and these cranes come down? I'm not really sure, but I'm going home Ugh, to have lunch, late lunch. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Sengakuji Station. I'm John. If you like this, subscribe. There's more where that came from. See ya.